Hello, this is a test of the Kokoro Voice Generator text-to-speech system be used in the video tutorial of CG Pixel, so make sure to subscribe. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Humo, a human-centric video generative model that allows you to generate video based on text, image, and also audio in order to create a good video with the sound. This model was released recently and it is now natively supported in Comfy UI. So today I will try to show you how you can install it and use it in Comfy UI. But also we will test out the extent of this model. We will try to generate video based on text, image and audio. On the last part I will show you how you can create a long consistent uh, driving uh, video using my custom workflow. So without further ado, let's dive into a tutorial. If you take a look at the example provided by the website, you can clearly see that uh, the models had good consistency and uh, good uh, lip synchronization. And if you take a look at this hugging face link, you can see that this model supports strong text prompt following, consistent subject preservation, and it is also synchronized audio drive in motion. So if you are looking for talking avatar, this model will be uh, the best for you. And uh, it has three key features, starting with text image. It allows us to create customized characters and combine everything together with the reference images. The second uh, key feature is the text to audio. It can generate audio synchronized video from text and audio input. And lastly, it can generate video based on text, image, and also audio. So we will have three input with high quality uh, details and uh, good audio guidance. Okay, now let's head over to Comfy UI. And the first thing that you need to do is go to manager and make sure to click update Comfy UI. You can also do it another way using uh, the Comfy UI root folder, searching for the update folder here. Then open up this file here. Once it is done, restart your Comfy UI. Then go to browse template, click on video and search here for Humo video generation. This way you will end up with this workflow. And before starting, the first step is to download all the necessary model for this workflow. It is a 1.2.1 based model. So you will need some file for the 1.2.1 like the VAE, the text encoder here, the LoRa, LightX LoRa in order to use less steps, and the main diffusion model, which is the Humo 17B FP8 version. Okay. Lastly, you will also need this audio encoder, which allows you to encode your audio in order to be considered as an input for the model. Once uh, you have all the necessary model, make sure to go to your Comfy UI root folder, enter model. For the audio encoder, make sure to place it under audio encoder file. For the diffusion model, make sure to that model goes directly under diffusion model here. As for the LoRa, it goes directly for the LoRa. The text encoder goes under the clip uh, folder and the VAE goes for the VAE. So once it is done, refresh your browser and we are good to use this workflow. Before going any further, let me first show you the workflow and how it is work. The first step is going to be to load all the necessary model, starting with the main model. Make sure to change the weight type to FP8 uh, fast. Then make sure to select your LoRa model in order to use uh, less step. In my case, it is named differently here. And do the same for the load clip, the, the VAE loader, and also the audio encoder. Once we have everything, you can either try to upload an image, for example, this lady here. The next step is going to be to load your audio. Make sure to choose an audio file here with the good text, as I have one here. It is generated using the 11 lab text to speech audio. You can try it uh, for free, but it is not limited. So you will need a node in order uh, to transform your text to audio. And I will show you that later on. This record audio here it allows you to start recording your audio using your microphone. So you can uh, try to talk or give a speech and it will be used directly as an input. So for now, make sure to bypass it since we are using directly the loud audio. The step four is going to be our prompting section. As you can see here, we have uh, this prompt, but you can change it. For example, I can type in a woman talking to the camera while holding a cup of blue water. And I will add white background. Once it is finished, we will uh, go to the video size information using this one Humo image to video. This node is the main core of this workflow. 
since we have here the width, the height, and the length of our video. If you have a good PC with high VRAM, you can try to use a higher resolution, but you need to pay attention here that this model only allows you to generate video with this uh, 4080p resolution. You can use this parameter directly or 720p the resolution. And this uh, value is gonna depend on your graphic card. Here we also have the length of our video. You can try to increase it if your audio is, is long. But I noticed when I tried to generate a video with uh, a higher duration, the latency was losing uh, over the time. Make sure to use the lower length value in order to create your video. And lastly, we have the key sampler here. As you can see, we are using low steps value with the low CFG value too. The sampler name is set to UniPC and the scheduler is set to simple. Once it is, the video is gonna be decoded and the results will have 25 FPS. I also forgot to tell you about this audio encoder here, where it's gonna use this model that we download alongside with the loaded audio in order to encode our sound file and this will be used directly with the, this one Humo image to video. So this one is gonna regroup the positive and negative prompt, the VAE, the audio file and the reference image file in order to create a video based on those information. But if you are looking to create a video based on text and uh, the sound, make sure to bypass this image. And if you, want, if you also want to create a video based on text only, make sure to unplug this reference audio input under your desired prompt here, and then click run. But for now, we will only focusing on the using the three input, meaning the image, the text, and the audio. So based on this uh, workflow, I, uh, I created uh, my first video. Hello everyone, this is a test for my WAN Infinite Talk sound to video. It was very fast, I did not run out of VRAM. However, when I try uh, to use a longer video, since you, here I have uh, 16 seconds of uh, speech, the character consistency and the lip sync start losing. And uh, sometimes I also got uh, black uh, images or black video. So this model can only generate a video with the length of uh, 4 to 5 seconds. And in order to get this number, you need to use a mathematical formula, which is set here. As you can see, we have a video created at 25 frame, multiplied by the number of seconds that your audio duration is. And once uh, you multiply everything, make sure to add 5. This, will, uh, this way, you will get your video length. If you try to generate longer video, you will end up with bad results. And the best way to fix that is using a custom workflow that will allow you to resolve this problem. So make sure to download my workflow. Once you drag and drop my workflow, you can see that I am using practically the same workflow at the exception of some modification. Here I have the Kokoro generator. It is a special node that can generate audio based on text and it is free. You can also choose your speaker here. Rather, it is a female or a male. You can also choose uh, the age of your uh, talking or speaker, whether it is a boy or a young man. All you have to do here is first go to ConfiWi Manager, enter custom notes, and here you can type in Kokoro. You can uh, make sure to install this version provided by the staff Sapir. Once it is done, restart your ConfiUI and you will be able to use it properly. On the first run, the model is gonna take some time in order to download the speaker name file. Then it will be very fast. There is also other uh, generative uh, text to speech notes. However, I found out that this Kokoro generator is uh, the fastest one. Good. Here we also have the, all the necessary model, the reference image. And on the third step here, we have the Kokoro, uh, the text to speech generator. And you can see that it can generate only four seconds of uh, speech. So I regrouped uh, all my speech and try to divide it into three parts in order to uh, maintain the consistency. Just let me show you here by bypassing all this uh, group. You will only have this uh, step three main group. Okay, as you can see, it is very fast uh, for creating uh, speech from a text. And uh, all the text here is converted into audio with the four seconds duration. Make sure to stick to this duration in order to obtain a good consistency. Once it is done, we will jump up to the other step. Let me just enable all those groups. And here I am using the prompting, the same uh, prompt, 
and we have different one humo image to video every one is uh, designed in order to create a part of a video this one along with this first key sampler will create the four uh, seconds of the video the first four seconds then the other one is gonna use the last image generated with this video as you can see here i am using this index in order to start creating the second part of the video using uh, the second audio encoder here and the second image provided by this uh, first video and i did the same here i am using a third audio encoder provided by this uh, kokoro generator and the input image is gonna be the last image provided by the second key sampler so by fixing the seed i managed to get consistent uh, video with the good synchronization and the duration time total time of my generated video is here 12 seconds which is very good uh, regarding the low VRAM that I have here. All you need to do here is select your width and height. So you don't necessarily need to choose the same value as me. Since I have a low VRAM, you can try to increase it if you want. Then here on the indexes, make sure that is the same uh, value as uh, the length of the video. This way, it will the workflow will use uh, automatically the last image provided by the first video. Then continue the work using uh, the second key sampler. And on the third step, we will also repeat the, this uh, process. Okay, once it is done, you will end up having here three video. And all you need to do here is using uh, video editing software like DaVinci Resolve or After Effects in order to combine the three results. So this way, it will uh, you will create a long video with good consistency and uh, lip synchronization. Okay, now let's jump to the results section of this, this tutorial. The first one is gonna be the style consistency while generating sound video, and I will test out different style and different image in order to see if the model can keep up the consistency of the images while having a good lip sync. Then we will try to adding details using this prompt section here. We will see if the model can uh, stick to these uh, details like uh, we did here. The woman is talking to the camera while holding a cup of blue water. And we will also try to add some uh, dynamic movement like walking. And lastly, we will uh, test out the cache notes like the easy cache or the t-cache and see if uh, this can uh, speed up our generation time in the ancient land of eldoria where skies shimmered and forests whispered secrets to the world. okay this is my first result you can see that uh, the character is very uh, close to the input image uh, the animation is also very good and the consistency is here however we still can't uh, do uh, long video uh, larger than four seconds for my next step i try to add an input image of an anime girl then i uh, use the same prompt and it gave me this result in the ancient land of eldoria where skies shimmered and forests whispered was also very consistent and the lip sync was uh, good okay then i try to remove the input image and i only leave the, the prompt and uh, it gave me this result. Hello, this is a test of the Kokoro voice generator text-to-speech system. This, As you can see, the model was also able to create uh, sound to video animation based on text audio only. Then I jump off to cache optimization using the, the T-cache notes and we got this. Hello, this is a test of the Kokoro voice generator text-to-speech system. This it is very blurred and uh, bad results. So. We can forget about Tcash notes now for a bit uh, boost. After uh, tr trying Tcash, I uh, tried to use the easy cash notes and Hello? we got this. Hello, this is a test of the Kokoro voice generator text to speech system. This the quality was degraded with lip synchronization too. So the easy cash uh, allow me to speed up my generation at the cost of uh, the quality. Next, we jump up to the style uh, consistency conservation. I added an input image of line art uh, girl and I asked uh, for a video generation using this uh, input image. It gave me this. Hello, this is a test of the Kokoro voice generator text to speech system. I also jumped to the anime uh, Ghibli style uh, girl and the results was also quite impressive and consistent. Hello, this is a test of the Kokoro voice generator text-to-speech system. I think this one is, is my best so far, as long with the extended version of my workflow where we I was uh, able to create 12 seconds video with good consistency and lip sync in a short uh, amount of time.
and uh, with low viran too. Hello, this is a test of the Kokoro Voice Generator text-to-speech system. This nodes allows me to generate an AI speech based on text. This speech is gonna be used in the video tutorial of CG Pixel, so make sure to subscribe. That's all, that's it for today's video. I think uh, this uh, Homo model uh, is uh, quite impressive uh, for now. Uh, we hope that we get an update uh, of this model that allows us to create a more extended uh, video without using any tricks with uh, good quality and consistency. So this model was able to generate a video based on three input, but also you can use uh, text and sound in order to create those video. It also have a good lip sync and uh, can keep the consistency of the input image. So if you are looking for a good uh, sound video generator, I strongly suggest you to use that model. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to watch my other video tutorial about Comfy UI. Thank you.